Welcome to today's Farm Life. I'm Doug Cunningham. We're in the state fairgrounds in Huron, South Dakota um, to kind of dispel some misnomers. Uh, a lot of people think the state fair runs five days a year and then they shut this place down for a year, wait until the next year's state fair. That's not the case. I had a chance to talk to Peggy Besh, the state fair manager, and she says 365 days a year they're working at building, repairing, or running the South Dakota State Fairgrounds. So we have over 190 acres and 100 plus buildings of all shapes and sizes. So um, there's a lot of uh, maintenance and repair and upkeep that takes place throughout the year. We are way more than just the State Fair. Um, certainly that's a big part of our identity, uh, but we have close to on average over 300 event days a year that take place out here. So we have um, a ton of different events throughout the year. A lot of barrel racing events, um, livestock shows, we host weddings, graduation parties this time of year, um, meetings, conferences, uh, birthday parties, just a whole gamut of, of events. Um, it's easy when you look around, you know, you can see a lot of our buildings and, and over to the to the east of me, we have a building that's just getting tuck pointed and painted. And But there's also a whole lot of underground things that you don't see that um, we have to maintain as well. So uh, right now we have um, an electrical project taking place. We're getting some electrical upgrades. And then of course, there's always water and sewer, um, just a, a whole lot of infrastructure to take care of. And you know, with all the events that we have, we average, um, prior to the beef complex fire, we average between 130 and 150 events a year. Um, and so we've seen a little shift in that since we, we lost the beef complex fire, uh, but you know, sometimes out of adversity comes new opportunities. So we're really excited about the DEX, the Dakota Events Complex that uh, we will be having a groundbreaking in September during the State Fair and, and we'll start constructing that building right after the State Fair. So that'll be a, a new 200,000 square foot multi-purpose facility and you know we hope to be using that facility 200 days throughout the year, 200, 300 days throughout the year. So um, that'll open a door for a whole lot of new activity out here. According to Bash, last year, pulling off the South Dakota State Fair right in the height of a pandemic, that was a little bit tricky, but uh, they got it done. But she did say that some of the things that they learned from last year, they're gonna use those as they move forward. Yes, you know, without a doubt, the 2020 State Fair uh, will be one in the history books um, with, with COVID-19, and it certainly presented some challenges. But, um, you know, sometimes you have to change your lens that you look through. Um, we knew that, that we were gonna have a state fair, and so we just had to make a lot of adjustments. Um, and I think some of those things, um, you know, some of the sanitary things that we had to do with additional hand washing stations and hand sanitizing units all over. And, and we had a clean team that really focused on um, sanitation of high touch point areas. And, you know, some of those things um, we'll probably keep in place this year. Um, you know, I think people are probably more conscious of cleanliness and washing your hands. So um, there are certainly elements that we will uh, move forward with the 2021 State Fair. Last year, there was no grandstand entertainment for the South Dakota State Fair, obviously during the height of the pandemic. But this year, they've got things lined up and it's going to be fun and it's going to be exciting. Peggy tells us all about the details. So this year's fair is scheduled for September 2nd through the 6th with preview day on September 1st. So we recently announced some of our grandstand entertainment. So September 1st and 2nd is the Tough Hedeman Bull Bash. Um, and then on September 3rd, we have uh, Brett Michaels along with Warrant. Uh, Brett Michaels, um, a lot of people know him because of the band, the lead singer for Poison. Um, on Saturday, September 4th is Dustin Lynch with Ross Ellis. And then Sunday, September 5th is John Hardy with Larry Fleet. And we are just finalizing uh, Labor Day's entertainment on the grandstand. So we're excited. Uh, last year, we didn't get to have any 
uh, any concerts. So I think people are itching to, to get out and get back to some of that, that traditional fair fun entertainment. Certainly go to sdstatefair.com. You can see all of our um, grandstand entertainment, but also uh, just visit it frequently because we're constantly adding all of our free entertainment. We have six stages of, of free entertainment and, and um, lots of educational value for, for, for folks. You know, I, I think sometimes we get really caught up in, in the entertainment um, side of things, but uh, the South Dakota State Fair is we're an agricultural fair and there's so much ag education out here um, from, from presentations and programming to static exhibits and livestock events and um, we say we're South Dakota's largest classroom and we really are so it doesn't matter your age there are so many opportunities to come learn about agriculture and where our food comes from and technology and um, the South Dakota's way of life. Peggy Best, the South Dakota State Fair Manager kind of explaining what they do here year round. A lot of people think five days a year is all that the state fairgrounds are open. No, they're open 365 days a year and there's a lot to maintain. A lot goes into it, as you found out. Remember, feel good about what you do today because what you do today is very important. Until next time, I'm Doug Cunningham.